lot of the purpose of this place is to convey a certain kind of feeling or a kind of like peaceful, grounded, natural feeling that you can get in other places, but not quite like this. And it's really special to have something like this here in Philadelphia. You kind of had a feeling when you came in here too. It's almost like you're not in Philadelphia anymore. Welcome, we are here at Shofuso Japanese Cultural Center. It is a 17th century style Japanese house and garden setting where you can experience traditional Japan here in Philadelphia. Our mission is to share the Japanese culture in Philadelphia. Since 1945, Japanese government, along with corporations, worked very, very hard to become best friend of the United States. This is a symbol of death. 1954, only nine years after World War II, the house was given to New York City, now came to Philadelphia. We are getting known for sushi, Japanese cuisine, anime, tea ceremony, samurai. You, you probably grew up with these symbolic things, but it's all here. Throughout the year, we introduce all this basic Japanese culture, traditional to pop cultures. You can see pretty much anything you can imagine. The setting, the architectural style, the gardening style, uh, it was all made very, very specifically to convey a certain kind of, of feeling. And uh, that specific style really dates back to 16th century, 17th century Japan, when the Zen Buddhist temples were kind of very important, and they still are, of course, in Japan, but they were kind of like the tastemakers of the time. Behind me, though, is the tea house. So that's kind of like an annex to the main building. And this tea house, it's, it's quite small, and it's small on purpose because in there is where the uh, traditional Japanese tea ceremony happens. And it's a meeting uh, with a very uh, tight-knit group of people sitting very closely to one another. So it's intentionally small, it's intentionally rustic. Gardening and architecture in Japan are, are very closely tied to the point of which they're not really considered entirely separate from one another. So the style of the house is actually created in order to enjoy the garden. And the garden is created and composed in a way to be enjoyed from the house. So they're really kind of relying on one another as sort of like a setting and viewfinder. Not teaching, it's sharing. And <laughs> I want the um, Philadelphians and Americans enjoy the basic culture of Japan and that's all I, I'm thinking about, not much beyond that. <laughs> <laughs>